Hi, this is Alexandra. Welcome back to Magic Mint Illustration. Today we are painting some vans. And I wanted to come here and quickly say hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been a minute. I had to take a break after the challenge. I was kind of tired. I didn't think it would make me so tired, but having to film and post every day while also doing other projects, it was kind of... it was a lot. So we are getting back into it, slowly but surely. And I wanted to paint these vans because I got them as a gift and it, they weren't really my style. I loved some parts of them, but some of them, no, really not. So I'm gonna insert here a video of how they look before and then my... So my plan for this project is paint them, create some cute minimal daisies, minimalist daisies, and then set them and wear them. That's pretty much it. Um, the materials you'll need, well, you'll need a pair of shoes. If you're using shoes that are maybe leather, make sure to use the appropriate type of um, paint for them. Or at least if you use acrylics, use a fabric, uh, use a leather varnish on top. Then we'll need some paints, we'll need some brushes, we'll need some ideas and some will to work on them. I've been putting off this project for, I think, four months so yeah we're finally doing it um i think i was kind of scared to do this on a pair of vents that are new brand new and also i didn't want to send them back because as i said i loved some parts of them and also they were a gift from my boyfriend and i really am really grateful anyhow let's get into it so the plan is pretty simple and straightforward we take the vents we clean them we add the base color then we let them dry we add a second coat of base color we let them dry and then we paint the daisies and we let them dry and then we add the varnish and that's it i also added some gesso to the base i hope it's a good idea and I hope it's not gonna crack. Um, we'll see as I wear them, I'll update you. Anyways, I hope you have fun with this. I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna keep popping on here, on and off. I'm trying to do a different style of videos. I'm trying to be more present on the camera as opposed to just doing a time lapse or a voiceover. So let me know in the comments if you want more content like this if you enjoy this if you try to paint your own shoes tag me in the in in on instagram magic mint illustration or on tiktok you can find me i'm gonna leave the um, socials down below okay have fun bye and i'm gonna do either a uh, lighter purple on this and then some daisies or maybe a light blue and then daisies but the thing is i'm gonna paint daisies so let's get to it i'm i'm gonna try first to see so i'm using pbo seta color um these are the opaque one and then i'm using the white from this brand i don't know if yeah, from Decola, I like it. But by far, my most favorite paints are the Pebeo Seta Color opaque ones. I think they're the best. They go smooth, they last a very long time. I still have customers that come to me after years with their t-shirts and they're like, yeah, this, this is still on. So I highly recommend that. Another option, if you don't have the Pebeo, would be Jacquard. I've been painting in a while and I have some orders 
for um, painted shoes and I'm actually excited about it it's been a while so yeah let's see this baby blue I kind of like it I kind of don't like it and also I need to make enough to f yeah so this would be the blue and I'm gonna just do a bit here to see how that looks and let's see if we go so I pre-prepped the shoes with gesso and look how smooth this goes on wow if you don't uh, pre-prime your shoes you're gonna have a hard time with paint because the fabric is gonna suck a lot of paint out of I want to see how this looks I'm not sure yet that I want to do this blue maybe I'll do oh man but we work with what we have an easier option for me would be to just use this lavender purple but I usually tend to like to complicate my life so And you want to make sure you use some tape as opposed to what I'm doing now. I'm just going very slowly on the edge. But use some tape. It will help you. It will save you time. But since this is not going to be a super complicated design, I'm not... I don't want I, I don't think I'm going to use tape. Cut back to me in a few hours swearing that I why did I didn't I use tape she did in fact regret it kind of like both of these but I think I might like this better I think the blue shade gives the shoe a more retro vibe which goes really well with the purple that's already in here see so I'm I have this and the this purple is kind of more toward pink and I don't know if this fits in my head right now it doesn't really fit it, but maybe I need to trust the process I can always do both so see what I was saying use I don't know if you can see but I didn't use tape and look at this here the side got painted so use tape i'm gonna go grab some tape right now and we're gonna move fast because this dries out pretty fast so we don't want that adding little little by little some blue and just making sure i'm mixing well I think this is gonna be it because it's gonna dry and it's gonna get a bit darker as it dries so a few moments later I'm starting to paint now and you can always add more and create another shade later you want to use thin layers it's always better to use thin layers than to just slam a bunch of paint because it, it will look cakey, it will dry slower and it will just not look good so thin paint, thin coats of paint so I got some tape on I didn't tape them all through I'm just lazy so I'm, I'm not gonna do it 
I think I'm gonna go with the blue. I like the blue a lot. It looks just cooler in my in my opinion. So we're gonna do a bunch of light blue. And honestly, if we don't like it, we can always change it. So if this uh, would be a tutorial, we have the first step, which is adding the gesso. Let that dry. I really let it dry because I applied the gesso back in May. It's been 84 years. I was headed to Albania and I did it before I left. And then I just never picked them up again. Until now, when I'm headed to Greece and I need shoes. See, because of this tip, because it is pretty firm, you have much more control over your brush strokes. Also, the fact that I prepped the canvas with gesso really, really helps. It makes the paint glides smoother, easier, it doesn't take as much paint as it would take if the fabric wasn't prepped. And also it helps that this was, uh, I don't know exactly what material it is, but it's not cotton, that's for sure. Also, it helps if you have a bigger brush. I like to use this, even if it's smaller, uh, to have the control for the edges and I don't have to switch. One eternity later. to the second editing Alex here so now as you can see I'm starting to add the petals 
and I'm just gonna try to be as quick as possible not gonna bore you too much with this footage uh, I didn't talk in the video so I'm just doing this voiceover now to kind of walk you through it it's not much to walk through you're just painting the petals and hope for the best <laughs> But yeah, I think daisies are one of the easiest flowers to paint, so if you're a beginner and you kind of feel intimidated by painting flowers, this is it. It's just a little circle with some few teardrop shaped petals, so give it a try. And also I want to mention again that using this type of paintbrush, the watercolor paintbrush, it really gives you a lot of control because you can see, hopefully, that this paintbrush is stiffer and while it's not great for covering large areas of um, drawings, it's really good at detailing. So I highly recommend it or if you don't have this, use a finer brush, a smaller brush and I know, again, this can also be intimidating if you're a beginner, um, but you'll get there. Just practice and you'll eventually get to paint beautiful petals. Okay, so let's get back to painting and I'm gonna get back to editing. Bye! Wow. Magic. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you try something new, maybe you try and paint your shoes. I think it's a super nice way of doing something super unique to you. And also, if you're having like an old pair of shoes that you haven't worn in a while, it's a good opportunity to give them a new life and maybe make a more conscious de decision of giving them a new Bruh. life and wear them again so i hope you enjoy this again if you try to do your own shoes or your own jacket or pretty much any custom painting on um, something you already own tag me and i would love to know if you already did let me know in the comments what you painted and let me know in the comments if you like wearing these types of um, clothing, like custom painted. So until next time, I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content. If you're new here, hi. If you've already been here, thank you for joining me on this creative journey. And until next time, bye.